Hello guys welcome to my channel so in today's update you gonna know about the action big hit had taken against all the sacing and haters and also am going to discuss briefly about the Suga case fine related as I don't wanted to make it more big and grab attention as it is closed now so before starting this video I want to request you all that please don't come up with pronunciation mistakes as I'm working on it too as I chat too and from past I'm improving but you guys have to understand it too as it isn't a human whom I can correct few times so please forgive me for if I sound rude I'm sorry but it's the reality I hope you guys will understand it so let's start the video now without further delay so on September 30th Big Hit Music issued an official statement updating fans on the legal proceedings aimed at protecting BTS rights this action targets malicious youtuber So Jang and other individuals making defamatory comments in their official statement the agency wrote hello this is Big Hit Music our company regularly conducts legal proceedings against perpetrators of malicious activities targeting BTS including including defamation, personal attacks, sexual harassment, the spread of groundless information, and ill-intentioned criticism. We would like to provide an update on these ongoing efforts. This quarter, we have continued to collect evidence of numerous malicious posts uploaded across various online forums, including Ilgen Best, DC Inside, Thiku, FM Korea, and Instys. Through fan reports and internal monitoring, we have submitted complaints to the relevant investigative authorities regarding these materials. AS noted in our previous notice, the first first trial for damages incurred by defamation and other illegal activities by Taldiot Camp has begun, and follow-up procedures are being diligently pursued. Additionally, we are actively coordinating with law enforcement and government agencies to ensure that individuals who illegally acquired and spread the artist's personal information are appropriately punished. The agency stated that some individuals from previous complaints, which were forwarded to the prosecutor's office on charges of defamation and personal attacks, have been sentenced to fines. These individuals were identified as users of online forums such as Naver, Ilgen Best, Nate Pan, and FM Korea. Some had repeatedly posted malicious content over an extended period and received the maximum fines for each charge. The agency is also awaiting results for additional suspects recently referred to the prosecutor's office following police investigations and remains committed to ensuring they face strict penalties. They also stated that they will continue to collect, report, and take legal action against malicious posts targeting BTS members who are currently serving their mandatory military service. Their legal efforts will persist throughout this period, with firm measures against offenders. There will be no leniency or settlements under any circumstances. Lastly, as mentioned in a prior notice, Big Hit Music has revamped the Protect Email hotline into the new Hybe Artist Rights Infringement Report System Protect.HybeCorp.com to provide faster and more efficient responses to reports. They kindly asked that any violations of artist rights be reported by fans via this new web page rather than the previous email hotline. Finally, they stated, we sincerely appreciate the unwavering support and dedication of armies. Big Hit Music will remain dedicated to safeguarding the rights of our artists. Thank you. For those unfamiliar, BTS agency first filed a complaint against the malicious YouTuber in 2022. However, the investigation was suspended at that time and has only recently been reopened earlier in March. Big Hit Music, along with V and Jungkook, filed a defamation lawsuit against Park Seo Jang. The agency accused her of creating unfounded malicious content and sought 90 million KRW in damages for business obstruction. So it's good that Big Hit is now taking action against haters and sacing fans. And now let's talk about Suga DUI case. So after facing nearly two months of intense media scrutiny and receiving unwavering support from armies following his DUI incident in August, Suga has finally been sentenced and can now breathe a little easier. A court has fined Suga 15 million won for riding an electric scooter while under the influence of alcohol, sources revealed on Monday. Now, Suga can focus on moving forward without any additional complications. On September 10, it was disclosed that Suga had been summarily indicted and fined by the Criminal Division 2 of the Seoul Western District Prosecutor's Office. Following that, media outlets reported on the fine. However, the figure remained unconfirmed, and he has now received an official sentence. The Seoul Court issued a summary order imposing a fine of 15 million Korean won, a approximately 11,200 US dollars for riding an electric scooter under the influence on August 6, 2024, according to Korea Times. This amount matches the prosecution's earlier request made on September 11. A summary order is typically issued for less severe cases. If Suga chooses to contest this, he has seven days from the order to request a formal trial. So armies it is another relief as Suga is free now so armies tell me in comments what you think about this and don't forget to like the video and subscribe for 
more BTS updates. See you in next video.